Now hear this. The pre- in, in the rest of the spirit too, they can do is called undercover work. So this spirit said, I will go and be a lying tongue. Verse 22, and the Lord said unto him, wherewith? He says, how will you do it? He says, I will go forth and be a lying tongue, a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. So the, one of the attendants of God chose to now take the form, undercover form of a lying tongue and enter the mouth of 400 prophets. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. This is not the devil. It is one of God's own spirits that said, I will take that form of a lying, a lying tongue. Now, it says, and thou shalt, and he said, thou, now watch this, I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of his prophets and he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. The person that said, thou shalt, please go back, don't be in a hurry. The person that said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. This was God now talking to that lying spirit. He says, now you will go and persuade them and you will prevail. Yes, go forth and do so. Now, that angel needed this word. Go forth and do so. Because angels of God are not permitted to operate in the dominion of men without God's what? Permission. Do you understand? Yes, sir. It's the same thing in Egypt. The Bible says, and God said, I will see the blood. It didn't say, I said, I will see the blood and I will pass over. Are you listening? Yes. So, one of the attendants of God now went as a as a spirit of slaughter. Are you listening? Yes, sir. So, it was the spirit of death that uh, that um, visited Egypt that night. Why am I giving us this analysis? Now, we go back to Job chapter 1 verse 6. Verse 6. Now, in Job chapter 1 verse 6, the Bible says now, the sons of God were gathered before the Lord hmm. to present themselves before the Lord and to account. And Satan, in Job 1 6, showed up as well. In Job 1 7, God said to Satan, come, where are you coming from? I said to us on Friday that Satan is not in hell. Anybody telling you that Satan, I bind you, go back to hell. You are wasting your time. Hell is not for Satan yet. Satan is up and down, to and fro, moving around the what? The earth. Now, he says, then answer Satan, I've been going to and fro, up and down, walking down in the earth. Are you listening? Yes, sir. And the Lord said in verse 8 of Job 1, have you now considered who? My, My servant, servant Job. Job. Now hear this. Now, at this point in time, Job was busy sacrificing to God for blessings. You know, there are times as believers we are praying for God's blessings, but yet after praying intensely and you are emotionally pumped up thinking that day is going to be a good day, baby, and you open the door and the moment you walk in, the first thing that happens to you is someone just drive pause what on your uniform. And you're saying, but Lord, I committed my day to your hands. With your soaked uniform, you are running late, you cannot change. You now get to the bus stop. You realize that your bag is missing. You manage. The man managed. The, the bus driver allowed you to get on the bus. You are there thinking, okay, maybe it's just a glitch in the operations of the day. It's going to get better, they say. You get to the office. You get letter that you are fired. Jesus. But Lord, I pay my tithe. Lord, I fasted. Lord, I prayed. And I committed the day to your hands. I felt when I was praying, you told me it's going to be a good day. I took the word. I left my house. But yet, everything has gone bad. Lord! Why have you presented me with this cup of suffering? At that point in time, there is something that takes place in a man's heart. You know what it is? It's called the questions of the heart. Are you listening? Yes, sir. That is when Satan will start playing with your mind and you start asking many questions. At that point in time, people start doubting the prophecies God has given them, the promises God has given them. A man called Job, the same man called Job, between Job 32 and Job 38, Job asked God 41 questions. <laughs> Are you listening to me at all? Yes, sir. Job asked God. God, 41 questions. Between Job 38 and Job 39, God responded with 77 questions. Are you, are you listening at all? What is questions? 